So you wanted to know how I did that in Excel from class today, how I made my histogram? Well, let me show you. Let me see if I can change my camera view here. So what I did was first, I put in all of my data into my chart. Now I put numbers here, we don't need these numbers. Let's delete that column. So I just put all my numbers in, and at first when I put them in, they were not in order. They don't have to be in order. You can go ahead and sort them if you want, like I did. And there's a tool to do that in Excel. We could go to data and sort with this column highlighted. And Excel will automatically sort all the data. So once we have all the data in, we then have to put in the size of our bins, which is what Mrs. White was talking about in terms of our scale. So I just did a quarter inch starting at 4.75 and just went up a quarter inch each time. The rest is pretty easy. What we have to do is click on data again. We go way over here to a tab called data analysis. And I'm gonna click that button. And we want a histogram. And it's hard to see on my screen, but it says histogram right down here. I'm gonna click okay. And then what I'm gonna do is put in my input range. So to put in your input range, you're gonna highlight all the data. And it does it for you automatically. Then I'm gonna highlight my bin range, which is all of those numbers we put in to say <clears throat> our scale. And then we just wanna make sure this little box here says chart output is checked and a new worksheet. And then we click OK, and bam, we have our histogram. That's it. See you next time.